Barnet travelled to Woken on Tuesday evening at our next National League fixture. I'm joined here by assistant manager John Dreyer. John, first of all, great derby win on Saturday. Yeah, it was. Um, I, th I thought, you know, after our first half performance, we, we turned up in the second half, turned the heat up and, uh, you know, we, 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 we came away with a win. On, a, on what I would say, a really tricky pitch, waterlogged pitch. So it was, it was difficult, it was physically demanded, um, but uh, a great result for us. It was a great result, and now we move on to taking on third place to Woken. Darren Sale's doing a great job there. What sort of challenge can we expect from them tomorrow? Well, we'll be expecting a real physical encounter. Um, you know, they're, they're very much in your face. They'll be pressing high. Uh, you won't get a moment's peace on the ball. We know that for a fact. So we'll need to be mentally strong and mentally conditioned for the game, and hopefully we've got uh, a strong ref for the occasion as well. We've got third versus fifth tomorrow under the lights. We've got a cup semi-final on Saturday. As a player, these are the games that you really want to be a part of. As a player, as a coach, as a manager, as a supporter as well, more importantly, um, they're definitely the games you want to be involved in. And and it's it's a massive week for us, to be fair. Um, but it'll be interesting, you know, one game at a time, Tuesday night, uh, Woking. As I say, they're having a terrific uh, season, so that will... Again, these these are the games you want. They gauge where you're at, uh, both physically and mentally. And um, it's it's you're right. These are definitely the games you want to be involved in. We've got eight league games left, and of course that cup semi-final. How do you manage the as a coach? How do you manage the pressure in the group? Um, well, you try. And, you, the pressure is the pressure that'll always be there. Um, you try and alleviate that if you can in any way. You know, you keep the training bright. You um, you don't build up too much because you know what? You, why would you? You know, why would you want to put any more pressure than there already is on the on the players? But uh, listen, uh, it's a pressure if you make it a pressure. I, I, I personally don't think. You know, I think they're just great games to be involved in. You know, you you aspire to be in. You know, exciting games. You aspire to be in promotion games and you know I've been fortunate enough to, to be involved in a lot of these so um, as or as have all the management so so you know you you, you, you just take it as, as, as another game really and you don't want to build it up too much. Going back to Saturday Emmanuel Fernandez came on to make his debut at half time he got a clean sheet how did you feel he did on Saturday? I thought he came on and played himself really well. He did, he did a really good, solid job. Um, he's he's a man mountain, six foot six, fantastic build. You know, I played centre half, and I'd love to have had that build. He's he's very quick, um, doesn't lose much in the air, and he's also confident, confident boy in uh, in possession. Um, is it, we're glad to have him on board, really. That second half also saw the, the return of Ben Winter. How good was it to see him back on the football field? Oh, it was fantastic to have have Wins back. Um, he's he's been a big miss. Uh, having said that, we've had you know we've had their crops in as well. So he's he's done a fantastic job as well. But but I think just for the for the squad alone, it's great to have Wins. He's a, just a great character, prof such a professional as well. Uh, so so it was a major boost for us, you know. And and, and as I said uh, in the last interview, we're we're getting all the bodies back. All the players are coming back training. So so. We're in a good place at the moment in terms of, of uh, bodies around the place. John, thank you for your time.